So in the last video, I showed you how to build a very basic news scraping tool using perplexity search and a summarization chain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to have a much more robust and data driven scraping process that can give you results that look similar to this. And finally, output your article to something that looks like this. Something that's beautiful, has images, summarizes it quite nicely. Eventually, you can have the source if you really want to. And why should you even create an automated newsletter? Well, by posting just one article on LinkedIn, I managed to get over 7,290 subscribers in less than 24 hours. And that's pretty insane. If you look over here, it shows close to 7,000 new subscribers with close to 700,000% increase from the past seven days. If you view the analytics, you can see that it went up from zero. Next day, it was 1,600 and eventually it was something close to 5,000. So let's get into it. So first of all, we start off with our schedule trigger, which will start at a specific time of the day. Mine, I like to implement it at five o'clock in the morning. Then we set off our global search. So over here, we set a global variable that we can use over here. So this is the input. This is the output. It looks a bit crazy. I know, but that's why we have this block which converts our XML to JSON format. So this completely chaotic looking string converts into something that looks a bit more manageable. So as you can see, we have multiple entries, as I mentioned earlier, and that allows us to focus only on these things and not all of the other stuff that we have up here, where we have our index, title, link, content. And if you see, we have our image URL embedded into our content. And what we need to do is to have this code block over here, which will essentially take whatever we got here and then extract the image URL over here. And this will run multiple times until we have processed each item. Then once we receive an error, which says, okay, we are done with the loop, we can essentially go from here down to this block over here. This is our first AI agent, which will say, is the blog post AI related? Now we have our source which will essentially say okay yes it is AI related because of the keywords we, we selected but sometimes the the post may not be related and we can decide whether we want to have it either AI and business related or can we have it AI business and automation related or maybe say let's say we want to focus on a, a specific niche which is maybe AI and Legos for example you know you can put that prompt in here and it will give you only those articles that are related to those so if you want only open AI news or maybe Gemini news you can focus only on those specific things over here so this will create a simple true and false statement so it gives a true or false so if true then we can update the rows in our database. And if we are happy, we can have our article write a block, which will be powered by either something like GPT-5 or Gemini 2.5, or maybe even Claude 4 if you want, really want to. And this essentially turns whatever article we have over here with our guiding principles here, as well as our specialized secret prompts to be used to get the highest converting impressions ever. So you can see we define our role and mission, our guiding principles, and then we also go into the format that you need, the bullet points, how we want it to be structured. And then this is essentially what output we get. And we try to put it in a structured format that is something similar to this. This is just a start for you to get a basic understanding of what we're planning to do. Then from here, it takes it and saves it into another article database, which you can see over here, we have article lists. And this is what it'll look like after we are done with it. You can then take all of this and convert it into something that looks like this. But we'll do that in future videos. But for now, if you'd like to get this entire workflow, Comment AI automation right down below and I'll, and I'll send you the link to the NATN workflows. Also check out our corporate automation library, which is our ever growing list of NATN workflows, as well as other coding frameworks that we use in creating our automations. So the previous one, we had content creation. We have marketing growth. We'll definitely also have a sales development representative or SDR, which I've seen that can replace an entire sales workflow. I'm yet to prove that, but essentially but the whole goal is to automate as much as we can so we can save time, money, and spend more time doing the things that we love, like exploring the world, having fun, and who knows, maybe go to a driving range in Dubai. And if you want to learn how we scale this entire workflow sixfold into different formats, it's not all the same. So there's different ways to handle the data, then check this video right up here.